Welcome along to our latest face-off then in the Premier League action. Heads to Goodison Park on Sunday, a 4.30pm start as Everton take on Tottenham Hotspur. Now I have Tom to my right who is going for Everton. I have Simon to my left who is going for Spurs. So let's go straight into round one then and it involves which team will win. And I'll start with the home side then, Tom Everton. Yeah, Everton struggling like Spurs are really at the wrong end of the table, had expectations or do still have expectations of pushing for a top six top four finish and I think there are signs of improvement particularly on their own patch they've won eight of the last ten at Goodison Park a really impressive record kept a couple of clean sheets of late as well beat Watford 2-0 in the Carabao Cup during the week so that's a morale boosting result and they don't have the best head-to-head -head record against Spurs of late but that was a different kind of Spurs team Spurs are coming into this match on a low ebb where I do feel as Everton are starting to turn a bit of a corner they need wins Marco Silva is under pressure but I think that midweek success over Watford shows the players are on his side and I expect them to deliver another good performance in this game and continue making Goodison Park a bit of a fortress. A strong argument then for Everton. Uh, what have you got to back up Spurs sound? Well, that recent record is excellent. You know, you wouldn't be getting too rich if you've been back in Spurs at favourite prices, and they are 13 to 8 favourites for this one. But I do think this is a good opponent for them. You know, Everton generally don't turn up to games against Tottenham Hotspur. They've won by an aggregate score of 9 2 on their last visit, 6 2 last season. Harry Kane usually scores. I still don't see much of a backbone about this Everton side, to be honest. I think up front, they're lacking a regular goal scorer. Moise Kian hasn't really done it so far. They still don't have that presence up front. And at the back as well, I think, you know, Yeri Mina's a slight doubt for this one. If he doesn't play, they're in big trouble there because Mason Holgate and Michael Keane are not any kind of partnership to stop Harry Kane in this one. Well, both uh, big arguments there. We're going to have to give this one to Simon, though. I think uh, Spurs will be getting the victory then. Let's move on to round two then, and it is in the goal scorer bet. And again, we'll start with Everton and Tom. Yeah, well, as Simon mentioned, Everton don't have a regular goal scorer. But I think he's overlooking the improvement in form of Dominic Calvert-Lewin of late. He's got five goals in his last eight appearances across all competitions, and he's starting to play more regularly. He's growing in confidence. Traditionally, he hasn't been a, a great goal scorer for Everton. He holds the ball up well and uh, really benefits others in the team, like Richarlison and... Theo Walcott players like that, but I think he is starting to add that goal-scoring instinct to his play as well. He's accomplished on either side, good in the air, as I mentioned. So I think with that form behind him, he's 9-4 to four to score any time in the game. I think he probably will start this match up front. As I mentioned, Moise Keane hasn't really happened for him as of yet. So Calvert-Lewin at the moment seems to be Everton's main man. Calvert-Lewin then is the suggestion from Tom, Simon? I've got to go with Kane. It's the obvious choice, but he's actually 6-5 to five, uh, some places to, to, to just score any time in this game. He scored uh, doubles in three of his last four appearances against Everton. So I'd be, be even looking maybe two or more goals from uh, Harry Kane in this one, which uh, will be a very tempting price. Uh, I think about 4-1. to one. Mm, Very tempting price indeed. I'm going to give a point to both of you actually there. I think there could be goals in this encounter, so I think uh, they're pretty good uh, suggestions from both of you there. So a point for both. It leaves uh, Spurs still 2-1 ahead. We'll move on to round three then, and it is the long shot bet. Uh, once again, we'll go to the home side first. Yeah, you mentioned that there's a and a, a tradition for goals in this game, and that certainly bears fruit. The last five meetings between the two sides have yielded 24 goals, so that's nearly an average of, of five a game. So you've got to be looking at the goals market. Over three and a half is two to one. Over three and a half goals in the match, that is, which is, I think, a decent value considering the amount of goal-scoring talent in both sides. And if you wanted to be a little bit braver, over four and a half goals is 19 to four. As I mentioned, we're almost average, averaging five goals a game in recent meetings between these two sides. So at 19 to four, I think that represents really good value. Mm, I do as well. I said I think there will be goals. Uh, Simon, your long shot bet. I'm going to go with Tangoy and Dombele to score in this one. It's uh, it's a bit of a long shot because he's not really known for his goal scoring prowess, but he's actually got two goals in five starts for Tottenham this season. And I think it was a big mistake by Pochettino, Maurizio Pochettino, not to select him from the start at Anfield last week. He came on, played a really nice cameo in the last sort of 20 minutes, got things together for, for Tottenham. I don't think he put a, a pass you know, wrong at all. And I'd be surprised if he didn't start this game. Like I say, he's, he's actually scored more goals already for Tottenham than he did in his last season for Lyon. So I think he's a, he's a good goal scoring option for them. You can get him at 17 to 2 to score any time. Again, both really good suggestions. And again, I'm going to have to put it as a draw for both of you, actually. They're at a point for each, uh, which ends the face off then. Well, those are our thoughts on the game and Everton taking on Tottenham. Let us know yours through our social media channels and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button on YouTube.